decided to have me fostered here with the swans. Oh, so it's your foster father. Uh, yes, it's on his mother's side. Oh. <laughs> so are you saying that both your foster father and your real father passed away this morning? <laughs> yes, yes, it's Mr. Eric Swan here and Mr. Norman Bassett upstairs. Oh, my God. You've lost two fathers in one day. <laughs> yes, he's very careless. <laughs>
That boy with you there is obviously doing the job. <laughs> certainly is. Why don't you go put the mud pack on right away? <laughs> Mr. Bassett. Yes, that's me. Are you saying that this is the widow? The widow? No! That's the widow over there. <laughs> Just 
smoke and play ball. She's 
on her way here right now. Is she really? Yes, yes, so you can have a nice pot of tea ready for her for when she arrives. Oh. All right. Oh, by the way, your washing machine is maybe not very <laughs> If you could fix it for her, she'd be very cool. Oh, right. I'll have a go at that. <laughs> How the hell can we introduce Mr. Jenkins to Mrs. Swan? You'll never go into the swing Linda to help you out. And besides, he thinks she's going to loop with her stepmother who eats the wallpaper. I know! <laughs> That's why we have to revive Uncle George. <laughs> Dress him up in stockings. <laughs> Why do you know what? He's just getting it out, Seltzer. He 
already? Oh, good. I hope young Mr. Bassett will be all right. I think the shock has affected him rather more than he'd care to admit. Yes, I think it has. What shock? Nothing, dear. Nothing that concerns you, darling. Uh, Mr. Bassett's father died. Bloody hell! Died! Apparently. Uh, this morning. Yes, yes, Mr. Bassett came over shortly after you left and just dropped on here.